my mid sphere in life is actually what I'm doing right now, public speaking. When I do one right, it boosts my confidence immensely and eases my anxieties. But when I fail or had a hiccup, I just want to hide away from everyone forever and never come out. Like all the insecurities and anxieties just tends to make me overthink everything. I think there are three key moments in my life that led me to where I am right now, to be able to stand here and talk to everyone here without running away. I'm not sure I have found the strength of my speeches, of, of me public speaking, but I certainly identified my, the root of my problems through those experiences. And today, I want to share them. I want to share the key three moments in my life and I want to confront them. The first story is actually the, the first ever memory about uh, first ever experience of giving a public speech I can recall. <laughs> I was a, it was in my childhood. I, I was forced to take cram schools for my English class. And I overheard someone saying they're holding a speech contest. I have no I have no idea what what giving a speech is like. I just remember someone giving a speech and it looks effortlessly charming and mesmerizing. So I gave a chance. I vaguely remember my babysitter. She gave me the idea of visualizing everything because I'm not very good at words. So I did. As a fan of films, images, moving images are my forte. So essentially that's what I did. I transform words into images. So when I'm giving a speech, I'm essentially recalling <laughs> the images in my mind to sort of help me piece things together. But on the day of the speech, halfway through the speech, I blanked out. I completely, I cannot remember anything. So I did the only thing I could. I visualized the images in my mind to the audience. And I think that's where, that's how my reliance on body language originated from. Because in some way, in some odd way, I couldn't say what I, what I wanted to say. I can't say what I meant. That word simply wasn't enough. So I had to visualize it with my hands. With my, with my body languages. Just so. And I remember that speech session was about, my speech contest was about family barbecues. So I literally have to oink oink in front of everyone to illustrate we were having, we eating pork. In some way that was reminding me, but also telling the audience. So today I sort of does that. Like my body language is my oink oink of the day, of the of today. My second story was actually a PowerPoint presentation I had to give in my first year of college in the UK. Back then, I was not familiar with the native language. I was quite nervous, so I did the dumbest thing I could. I put everything I needed to say onto the PowerPoint. <laughs> And ironically, it not only overwhelms the audience, it overwhelmed myself. Because <laughs> I word vomited, and that do mean uh, metaphorically, not actual vomit. I word vomited a five minute speech into a two minute speech. <laughs> Everybody was so taken aback, even the teacher was shocked. But I think that that was a good thing, because before that, I never had any experience in class of giving a speech or doing a presentation because that was not the norm in Taiwanese education system. So, despite it being excruciatingly painful, I find it to be one of the most memorable lessons I ever learned in life. And my third story 
fast forward to my uni years, I was giving a group, uh, I had to do a group presentation in one of my modules for my uni. And in some way, I was stressing myself, uh, stressing myself out even more because it's one thing to mess up your own speech, to mess up, to embarrass yourself, but it's another thing to drag the whole group down, to drag everyone else. And funny enough, on the day, one of our teammates overslept. So everybody has to take on equal responsibilities to cover up his section. And just when I was panicking inside, I realized something. Everyone else was fumbling their words as well, just like me. But they are also all carrying, they are all also uh, carrying on as well. So in that moment, I feel like I, something struck me that we're all in this together. That in some way we all share our equal amount of anxieties and anxiousness. So today, this is why I want to give the speech today. I want to remind everybody that ever stepped foot on the stage or, are, or is currently on the stage that we are all in this together. We share our mistakes, we share our embarrassment, we share everything that we, what we are feeling together. And together we can overcome it, we can face it. And that's the only way we can grow. Thank you everybody.